Today, Paul's cooking just for you. Faux beef. Faux beef. <laughs> Hello and welcome to CNR. I'm Ken Domic and this is Paul Merriman. How are you, buddy? I'm very well. All right. What are you cooking for the fine folks today? We're gonna do some faux beef. You mean pho? Pho. <laughs> Apparently, there's two ways you can say. You can say pho, especially in North America, and yes. I believe in Vietnam, uh, you say pho. That's what they, that's, uh, apparently that's how they say it. There you have it. And I've talked to some Vietnamese people, so. Nice. I'm hoping I know. So, I, it's gonna be a beef pho? Yes. Okay, and what are the ingredients gonna be? Some beef. <laughs> so beef, you're gonna start with a stock? <laughs> yes, but we're, we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna try and set a speed record on this one. So oh. You, I mean, the stock's the big thing, but people come home and you feel like it, and all of a sudden you're like, I don't wanna do that, so we're just gonna, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat our whole way through this. So the one recipe that we saw was a seven hour cook. We don't wanna do a seven hour cook. We don't wanna do a seven hour cook. You can, There's, if we, you really want If to. you really wanna start with a bone stock and all that stuff, with yes. some of the videos we watched, then you can do it that way. Because they do the stock with the I'm bones. I'm sure it tastes they, way better. They, yes. But Paul and I are doing it fast, just for you. Just for you. you ready? I am. Let's go. Go. I'm wondering. <laughs> <laughs> you said fast. So. Right, okay. Let's. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle. Or you could spend four hours making your own. Yes, you can. <laughs> so a lot of uh, sweet. I guess people would already know. But for those that don't know. A lot of them use rice noodles. Rice noodles um, or yeah. egg noodle? Yeah. I think the more traditional would be rice noodle. Okay. So and this is we're a... gonna cheat with the stock. So we're we're gonna we have these little nice little packets here. We're gonna put it in our. Oh. Oh, you're doubling up. Oh, you're gonna put make them both at the same time. Well, we, yeah. I'm not Mine gonna. Well, right. I mean, you come home from work. Is that there's... enough liquid for two of us? It is. Okay. A quick stir. I'm like hungry. Are you good? Because uh, this will be pretty fast now. So a quick stir. Because it was we cheated. Because I did get this already boiling, and then I turned it off. Yeah, you forgot. And then I forgot. I'm like, what am I doing? So. No, you do. We're gonna cut some. What do you want to cut first? You like mushroom too, Ken? Yeah. Okay. Mushroom. Yeah. Is it better to use, are you gonna use both sides or are you just gonna use the whole thing? Of which? Of the, of the onion. So you're starting from like, the, the, the side of that I wouldn't cut first. Really? Yeah. I'd always oh, you starting the other side? I always side? go for that, that part first, the white part. Now it's better with, uh, obviously, Thai chilies, but I couldn't find any. I guess I could have if I'd gone to uh, MDR today, but I was, I was stuck today. You want it really hot, Ken? I don't wanna or, die, but. I want to. I want to have a super flavor pack. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's delicious. So those are crazy hot, then, or? Oh, I don't think so. Beef, look, we're, we're already ready to go. This is done faster than, and it's boiling. Look at this. It's hey! Almost like, what is going on here? Well, look, ladies and gentlemen. Some for you. Some for me. A little more for you, and some for me. We had the dream, dream look for a second there with the Ooh. fog on the lens. Dream weaver. And so because this meat is cut so thin, you don't actually have to cook it first. You just throw it in the No, soup. it's just gonna go in the broth, we'll cook it. Like this sitting in, this will only take a couple of minutes. Just gonna submerge that a little bit. And then. Putting on the meat. You wanna just. So this is, um, we actually had a fondue last night. Again, using up leftovers. And so we didn't get through all the meat. a show out of it. And then, <laughs> yeah, because I was going to do different stuff and I was going to do a shrimp and and stuff. And then I was like, Shut you know the what? camera off. We'll wait till next week to do the shrimp. Well, yeah, we'll, uh... <laughs> let's make sure it's all in. See how fast it's cooking? Yeah. It's like seconds. Totally changing oh, color right in front of your eyes, yeah. people. We're gonna put some mushroom in there. Oh boy. Extra mushroom for kids. This is gonna be freaking awesome. I don't think I've had pho since the last time you and I had it like two, three years ago. Really? At Faux Fusion. Oh. I think it was even longer. I, th I think you and I went there before we went to like a either a Leafs game. We were doing, yeah. 
I remember. Like, well, um, we've got time to eat here, and then we're not to eat downtown. And oh boy, look okay. at the color. Beautiful. What are you getting now? I saw that earlier. I wasn't sure what it is. Basil. Basil. Couldn't get the tie, so I'm cheating. But it'll taste good. Why didn't you give me any? Jeez. <laughs> Some for me. Mmm. We need to drink beer. Hey, let's drink some beer now. Okay. We'll tie that into this part. That looks so colorful, eh? It's beautiful. We're gonna go Vietnamese cuisine. So, we should have set a, a stopwatch just to sort of because we're done. That's it. Well, I turned this camera on four minutes and forty-two so, seconds ago. Well, this is sitting a second. Let's get some Vietnamese beer. beer? Or was that Thai beer? <gasps> I can't remember. I think it was Vietnamese beer. Yes. One for Ken. I just spit. <laughs> I'm not sure how you even say that. Sing, sing. Uh, I hope I said that right, guys. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Mm. Ah, I will not lie. This is not my first. <laughs> you didn't get to witness uh, Paul have his Look first. Oh, that looks beautiful. Picture. Beautiful minutes. Picture time. Let's do a picture. Alright guys, we are sitting down, ready to eat. Quick cheers. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Get the Vietnamese taste buds ah. going. So apparently you're supposed to eat some of the soup with a spoon and then use chopsticks to mix the beef and some of the veggies with the mixture of sriracha and... And if you're like me, use all the weapons. How do you say this again? Poison sauce. Poison sauce. So it's... Not with a P, because that would be poison sauce. Poison sauce. <laughs> and that would not be good. So apparently it's supposed to do like a half of that and then half of the sriracha. I always drizzle everything in my But Paul likes to do it differently. So we can, we'll do it two different ways. So Paul's okay. gonna do it his way. Well, I'm gonna put it in here because I wanna see how hot those little chilies are. All right, that might be a bad thing. I always put, I always put it in and mix it all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in for a scoop of this Amazing bone so broth. This, that is, you this is a really fast hours. way, but you can cheat too. You can mix rather than boiling bones. You can make a stock and then uh, char your uh, onion and, um, oh, and ginger in the oven and, and then add your stock and then strain it later. Or you can just do like this where it's really fast. This is very fast. Inst Insta foe. Um, what were some of the other meats that they were talking about? They even they had, had tripe. They had tripe. They had, I mean, there was a huge mix of stuff. Did they have sausage, tripe, beef? Yeah, uh, brisket. Brisket they had in there. He had a whole ton of different... Oh. Mm. Nice. I wanted to try one of these peppers. Nope, not hot. Not hot? Nope. I gotta eat... Uh, I could eat that... Uh, it's almost like green pepper. There's like no heat. Yeah. So... Mmm, not hot. Good. Good? Uh-oh. Some right in. Apparently, uh, the hoisin sauce is Chinese ketchup, they call it. Hmm. You know the mixture of the two sauces? First time I've did ever you, done uh, that. What? Oh, did you mix the two? I did. Well, you mix it as you dip it in, basically. Mm. I'm gonna eat the noodles. Whoa, super hot. Mm, really good, Paul. Good job. Basil. Mmm. Super flavorful. I'm gonna go in for some more of this beef. I almost got whiplash from that. I would love to try uh, other meats in, in the pho. We should do like a, re a restaurant pho review. Going back and forth from soup to using chopsticks like... is a really fun experience. Should we have squeezed our lime into it? Or you just let okay. it sit? I'd let one sit. Just let it sit. I just think it's pretty. Mm. It's pretty. It's so nice looking. I don't want to mm. eat the beef unless I dip it. So how do you like the sauce in your soup? I like it in my soup. Or in your pho. I was going to put some in my ear. In your ear? You can see why it's so popular, right? Mm-hmm. So good. Now my nose is starting to run. Mm. Into my soup. <laughs> Very nice, Paul. But you forgot one thing. <clears throat> Bean sprouts? Napkins. Oh, I did. I'll get them. 
He's just yakking away, Joe. Sorry about that. Now Ken's way ahead of me. <laughs> Got the blue napkins. Ooh. These were Caribbean blue, they called them. Fancy. So one of the things I learned from making mistakes in videos is never ever put your chopsticks in your food straight up because it's bad luck. It uh, looks like um, tombstone. Oh, really? Yeah, so don't ever, it's bad luck to put your chopsticks straight up in your food. I just did that. Always, always put them off to the side. Usually they have that little holder for them on the side mm -hmm. or you can put them across your bowl. Uh, I'd, always, I'd like to know from the Vietnamese, are you allowed to drink from your bowl? <laughs> when you get to a certain point, like I, at home, uh, we, we've purposely bought soup bowls that have a handle on nice. them. Nice. Because when you get to this part where it's just like soup, 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 because again, I'm way ahead of Paul. So let us know in the comments below if it's if it's customary or rude to drink the bowl of soup once you get down to like this, just the broth, mainly. One of the things that flavors that came through near the end was Ooh. the lime. I started getting lots of lime, mm. and and the more I ate of the pepper, the more of a nice spice oh. I'm getting on my ah. tongue. Mm. Yeah, it's start, starting to affect my tongue. Ooh. I am starting to sweat a little bit. Not only because of the heat of the food, but because of the spice. And of course, the onions. The onions are awesome. Oh, look at that. So let me know if this is rude or wrong. If you had a restaurant, it would be probably rude to pick up your bowl and drink. But it's a time saver, let me tell you, when you're at home. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Done. Oh! That was brilliant. Super fast, fun to eat. You could totally adjust the spice level of that depending on what you want to put in it. Yeah. If, if, if you, you if, let's let's talk about um, let's talk about that. Let's talk about if you don't have like uh, fresh chilies because it's always I always try to stress it's about what you have in your kitchen. Sure. So we didn't. I couldn't get green sprouts, so we just left it out, which was fine. Um, oh, excuse me. But uh, like crushed chili peppers, like the, everyone's pretty much got those crushed chili sure. flakes in their house. You put that in the broth. I like because the, they usually boil through their stock with ginger, and I love the taste of ginger. So I think it, it we could have probably cheated and grated a bit of fresh ginger into it, just to, and then boiled it in. Yeah. They usually uh, char the ginger with the onion, and then throw that in with the meat when it's boiling, and they're letting that reduce. And then they'll strain when they strain it with the bones and all oh, that. Okay. So that, that, all that flavor. All that flavor is just locked in with the ginger, right. the, the charred onion, and. Very nice. Today I was coming home and I was like, instant noodles. This is a very long day. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? Let's. Just, people, I think people like appreciate when you can just take something, just throw something yeah. together really fast. Whether you're a student in college, you can come home and say, oh my god, let's make some folk. You throw a meal together in minutes. Yeah. So there you have it. Cheers, bud. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Thank you very much for watching, Paul. Thank you very much for dinner once no again. Problem. Amazing meal, ladies and gentlemen. Please give it a shot. Let us know in the comments below if you actually did or not. Uh, if you want to try it, that'd be great. If you don't, then don't do it. All right, well, right say do it. <laughs> Paul says do it. So I recommend his thumbs up. Ding ding. Uh, so if you guys are first time first time viewers on this channel and you enjoyed watching this cooking review of Paul cooking some amazing food and then us enjoying it afterwards, please hit the subscribe button. It is somewhere on the screen. But if you love watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul cooking review. Ken and Paul out. <laughs> Cheers.